Here's everything you need to know about rest stroke and free stroke and how to play them using the correct technique. Hi, my name is Cody and I'm a classical guitarist. I have two master degrees in classical guitar performance and I'm a former associate professor of guitar and I'm here to help you level up your guitar playing skills. Pretty sure I just said guitar like 14 times. First thing you need to know is that there are two ways we stroke the strings when we play guitar. One is called a rest stroke and one is called a free stroke. We're gonna begin with rest stroke. So let's define what that is. A rest stroke is when one of the right hand fingers or thumb strokes a string and immediately rests on the adjacent string, like this. I stroke the string and my finger immediately rests on the string behind it. Oh, so that's why they call it rest stroke. Hence, rest stroke. Now let's talk about the mechanics of the right hand movement. The first thing you need to know is that the fingers have three joints. Here we have the large knuckle joint, here you have the mid joint, and finally the tip joint. When you play a rest stroke, you wanna originate the motion from that large knuckle joint. This is the main source of thrust that pushes the finger through the string. You wanna make sure that you position the large knuckle joints behind the string that you're playing. So if I'm playing the first string, I just wanna make sure that these knuckles are roughly behind the second or third string to ensure that when I play a rest stroke, my finger rests into that second string. So to play a rest stroke, there are three simple steps. First, you place your finger on the string, Second, you apply pressure, and third, you release. One more time. Place or plant your finger on the string, apply pressure, and release. You can also try this with other fingers, like your M finger. You can practice alternating them. And make sure that you strive just to move the fingers and not the whole hand. Hey, at any point, if you're getting value out of this video, remember to like it and also consider subscribing. As soon as you stroke the string, make sure you relax it and rest it on the adjacent string. Now let's talk about free stroke. A free stroke is when one of the right hand fingers or thumb strokes the string and immediately follows through into the palm of the hand, like this. There are two key factors to keep in mind here. One is that when you play a free stroke, you want to set the string vibrating into the sound hole to produce a full sound. And two is you want the fingers to follow through into the palm of the hand after they've stroked the string, because this is the most natural way that your hand moves, like this. The most important thing you want to know about rest stroke and free stroke is the character of their sound. When you play a rest stroke, it typically has a more full, in-depth, big, and powerful sound. And when you play a free stroke, it tends to be more agile. You can still get a really nice sound, and it's maybe a little more useful for playing arpeggios and things like that. So I'll give you an example. Here's a rest stroke passage, and here's a free stroke. Now let's go over some of the most common mistakes so you don't make them when you practice. So with free stroke, one of the most common mistakes I see is students pull the strings upward, and when you pull the strings upward and release it, you get this sound. Right, sounds terrible, you sound like an amateur, and you get that slap sound. So to avoid that, what you wanna do is make sure that you kinda of push the string into the soundboard and then release it, okay? You also wanna make sure that you are paying attention to your fingers and make sure that you're following through and originating the motion from that large knuckle joint. Far too often I see students move their, their fingers from the mid joint like this, and their hand tends to be really tense, they get a bad sound, and what they end up doing is pulling the strings. Basically what happens is the students pluck the strings. At all costs, I avoid using that word pluck because it implies this kind of motion. Instead, I want you to think about stroking and caressing the string like this to get a nice, full, and warm tone. Now with the rest stroke, I most often see students move their entire hand when they stroke the string like this. What that does is move you out of position, and then when you want to play the string again, you got to go back into the correct position, only for you to move out of position again. And so you play this moving game, or this repositioning game, and you will never be able to play fast or achieve any kind of speed if you, if you play like that. So instead, you want to keep this very stable and just move the fingers. Like this. Also remember to enjoy the process of practicing. It does take a little bit of time and patience to master these techniques. And with that said, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments about rest stroke or free stroke. Like the video and consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one.